Hello everybody, welcome to Cerritos College as the Santa Margarita Eagles took on the Servite Friars in Trinity League football. I'm Paul Higgins and this would be a high scoring affair. Eagles coming onto the field, Malone Mataele firing up the Eagles. Some of the pregame hype carried over to the Servite Friars. Delon Hurt, on the other end of this, puts on the Hurt as the Eagles were down 7 0. The Friars off to a fast start. The Eagles would counter as Dylan Brady knocks in a 20 yard field goal. That would make the score 7 3 early in the first. Plenty of scoring to come as both teams just getting warmed up. On this play, it would be the quarterback posing as a running back as he, T.J. McCown, goes all the way for a touchdown. This young man's got plenty of speed and he can get it done. 14 to three, the Friars up on the Eagles in the first. Santa Margarita gives the ball back to the Friars and T.J. McCown lofts a nice pass, but Blake Bianchini is there for the deflection. Blake laying it out, as you can see, gets a piece of the ball and knocks it away for a great defensive play. Dylan Brady knocks in another field goal to make it 14 to six. The Eagles are starting to get a little closer. This strike from Brady was from 24 yards out. Eagles have their hands back on the football. Josiah Norwood with plenty of time to throw. Picks his spot and he finds Chad Magyar for the touchdown. The first of four touchdowns for Chad on the night. Mark Eaton on the other end of this one on the two point conversion. And just like that, we're tied up at 14. Once again, Eaton with two steps on his defender for the two point conversion. Eagles football once again, Norwood, and he decides to hold on to it. He goes right in between two players, skips past four, stays on his feet, goes across midfield, and continues down inside the 35 yard line. Once again, a great play as he looks upfield, shuns off one tackle, stays on his feet, picks up a blocker, and gains 10 extra yards. Josiah would rush eight times for 118 yards on the night. A great night for him. Back at quarterback, Chad Magyar takes the handoff from Norwood, and he goes in to the end zone for the touchdown. The Eagles have the lead 21 to 14. Outstanding blocking up front for the Eagles. That run for Chad would be his second touchdown of the night, but his night was far from over. The Eagles on defense, TJ McCowan gets loose, and it looks like he's gonna have a big play, but Joseph Canty comes up with a bigger play as he knocks the ball loose, and Kai Leonard falls on it, and the Eagles recover. And you know the rest if you're an Eagle fan, you find the belt. Nice moment for Joseph Canty, a great play here for Mark Eaton as he catches the football, gets his foot down about the two yard line. And if you're wondering, yes, his foot was in bounds. A great play by Eaton. That catch would set up Chad Magyar's third touchdown. On the delayed handoff, he finds room and goes in for the touchdown. And the Eagles are starting to expand on their lead, 28 to 14. Once again, outstanding blocking by the offensive line. The Friars might have been down by 14, but with time winding down in the second quarter, Julius Irving is on the other end of this touchdown pass. That would make it a seven point game as the Eagles led 28-21. How about Chad Magyar hurtling the potential tackler, going up and out of bounds on the 23 yard line. Once again, he skies over one player before he's knocked out of bounds. The Eagles led by seven at halftime. In the third quarter, Dylan Brady would knock in his third field goal. This time, it would be from 25 yards out, making it 31 to 21. The Eagles up by 10. Santa Margarita's defense started to stiffen. Here on fourth down, they stop the Friars. The ball goes back over to the Eagles on a great play by the Eagles defense. And they take advantage. Josiah Norwood will run it in for a touchdown. Again, eight carries, 118 yards, and a rushing touchdown. This put the Eagles up 38 to 21 in the third quarter. Eagles football, fourth quarter. Josiah Norwood throws a perfect pass. All alone is Chad Magyar as he's right there. 
That would make it 44 to 21. Once again, the teardrop pass falls into the hands of Chad Magyar for his fourth touchdown of the evening. Two on the ground, two through the air. On the defensive side of the ball, we ramp up with Noah Barrett as he comes in unblocked to get to the quarterback. T.J. McMahon would bounce back as he would throw a touchdown pass right inside the pylon for a good Servite Fryer touchdown. That would make it 44 to 28. Eagles football, they hand it off to Jake Thomas and Jake gets around the corner, a nice stiff arm there, turns on the Jets across the 40 down inside the 30 before he's finally knocked out of bounds inside the 10 yard line. And yes, he is rewarded as Norwood hands in the ball and Jake dives over the goal line for a touchdown. That would make it 51 to 28. Quarterback rolls left. Caden Fitch though, comes in out of nowhere, in on the tackle for a great defensive play. And the final score in this one, 51 to 28. After the game, I talked to coach Rich Fisher. Coach, uh, no Trinity League game is easy, and that was uh, an example of that tonight. Your thoughts coming into this game and how you got started? Uh, started slow, kind of slip walk there uh, through those first couple series, both sides of the ball. I think a little bit of that was uh, what they were doing to us, both offensively and defensively, but um, you know, we were able to uh, um, you know, go into halftime with the lead, make some adjustments, thought the kids came out in the second half, played really, really well. A lot of kids, a lot of different athletes today touched the ball and made some great tackles. Your thoughts about that? Well, I, you know, at the end of the day, it's about what the defense gives us on offense. And a lot of times when a play is called, it can go to a number of different guys. And, uh, you know, it's neat to see these kids develop. It's neat to see that, uh, you know, whether it's the third quarter or second quarter or at the start of the game, when their number's called, they're producing a lot of guys making big plays, you know, whether it be, uh, you know, Mark Eaton, uh, JT had the big run, Josiah, the quarterback's playing really well, Maggie R. Malone. I mean, you know, there's a lot of great players um, that uh, are getting their hands on the ball. and. You know, they're real selfless, which I love. Uh, we just want to win. Uh, it doesn't matter who scores, and uh, it's a testament to, to the kids. One additional question for you. The Trinity League starting to shape up, obviously. You go into next week's game one and one. You enjoy tonight. What about next week? Well, we'll get on the film tomorrow, you know, and we'll enjoy this for 24, uh, 24 hours. And it uh, feels good, tastes good. It's, it's uh, hard work, you know. I think I told you, I don't know why I'm putting myself through this, but, uh, but, uh, but we love it, and we're going to enjoy the win. Any win in the Trinity League is good. And, uh, We'll get to work tomorrow and see what uh, Bosco is. Congratulations. Thanks, buddy. Once again, the final score, 51 to 28, as the Eagles improve to one and one in Trinity League. For Athletes in Motion Sports Television, I'm Paul Higgins. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.